What's going on everyone? My name is Adam Repos Vox and welcome to another tutorial of sorts here. Um, Google has recently released a $150 suite of photo editing software plugins for free, for absolutely free. It's called the Nick Collection, N-I-K Collection, and I'll post a link to it in the description below. And I'll just give you a run through of it here. It is a plugin, uh, it's a plugin suite for Photoshop CS4 through CC 2015, Photoshop Elements 9 through 13, and Photoshop Lightroom 3 through 6, and then on Apple, you have Aperture as well. And it's just a nice little suite of filter plugins here that was originally $150. Like I said, Google acquired this company a while back, and then they have since, you know, essentially stopped working on the software, but they put it out for free here, and then they sent out refunds to anyone who actually paid for it in 2016. So I'm going to walk you through some of the basics here real quick. So you have Analog Effects Pro 2, and all of these are under the Filters tab, under Filters Nick Collection, and it's basically just a bunch of photo presets, like Magic Bullet Looks, or uh, what's the other one? Sym synthetic Aperture, basically just like color correction and style. So you have a bunch of like Instagram-y filters. Uh, Analog Effects Pro is mostly just like Instagram looking filters for classic looking cameras. You have a bunch of presets to sh choose from here, but then you also over here on the right have tons of adjustments you can make to yourself, including like dirts and scratches, a vignette, uh, the, the type of film you're trying to emulate, and other you know basic color correcting adjustments and then if you close that and go over here to uh, color effects pro 4 this is a little bit different it is more of color correction retouching making it more just general like creative stuff so you have a bunch of like nature filters such as like fog makes it look like there's fog in front of it yeah and then you have a bunch of preset categories here for portraits weddings architecture travel landscape uh, what if we go to portrait and do nostalgic and that gives it this kind of like purpley feel for like some indie, you know, retro looking photos. So that's more for creative, whereas analog is for emulating like classic film. And then if we instead go to the silver effects pro here, this emulates a uh, black and white, you know, old school dark room style filters. And again, all of these, you have a bunch of different presets and then you can completely customize your own over here on the right. If we go over here to high contrast black and white, then we can add a color filter, which is going to change how the black and white filter works because it's based on what color you're filtering out there. Then if we go over here to HDR Effects Pro, this gives you a bit more of an artistic -y HDR look without, of course, actually taking an HDR picture because you have to have that up front for a true HDR look. And then you have a little bit more categories here. We'll go to artistic and let's just pick one of these. It does take a little while to load depending on your computer. See that applies really weird effect here. Uh, we'll go to Surreal. What do we got in Surreal? Sinister. Makes it all dark and desaturated. Uh, into the Road. Makes it look kind of like Mad Max Wastelandy. Adds a bit of like dirt and grit to everything. And again, you can customize all that over here on the right. And these are just a lot of really cool things to play around with and then you have sharpener pro which allows you to add in some special sharpening to your footage uh, define actually is noise reduction so you can get rid of noise and grain it is very powerful like i don't know if you saw but, but like the blurred out icon here that almost looks classically the blurred out part looks really insane and then we have one more here which is viviza 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 2 and that is essentially selecting or changing the t tonality and the color and the brightness and contrast and stuff of sp specific parts of your image. So you have the controls over here to change like the curves and brightness and contrast of the image on the whole. But then if you add a control point, I can choose like right here on the tip of this uh, part of the microphone. Then I have all these slider controls and it basically like adds little lights of effects to this part of the image. So I added that there, but see it, it doesn't really affect down here. It's only just in this light point. So if I add another control point, say over here on the hulk on my tablecloth and then bring everything down it's desaturating everything and making it look kind of the opposite so this gives you a lot more control over specific parts of your image which could be very very useful and again this is all totally free just a plug-in suite now they do have gpu acceleration for certain graphics cards and things like that if you have a powerful desktop system um, but it, it looks really cool and I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing around with this This is gonna help me out a lot for some of my image development for videos and even for social media posts and things like that Totally free $150 suite free to you 
Link in the description below. Thanks to Google for making it free. Hopefully they still update it a little bit, but you never know. And be sure to like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech videos. Comment down below if you're going to use this in your work in any way. And I'll see you next time. My name has been Adam Maripos Vox. Make some awesome pictures. Yeah.